Hey, Wonder Hussy here. I'm on the road again, headed up to Northern Nevada to sing an ill-advised country music duet. That's right, country music. I got my hat on, I've got my boots on, I've even got my belt buckle on. <laughs> oh God, looks like I got my beer belly on too. Just kidding, I don't drink beer, I don't like beer, that's just bloat. I'm on my period and I look, feel, and smell like a smoked summer sausage. Cause I got these jeans on that are so tight, I feel like I'm fit to bust. And they smell like a campfire, so well, that's why I say I feel and smell like a smoked summer sausage. Well, I guess smelling like a campfire does add some kind of country credibility. Uh, matter of fact, speaking of country credibility, I actually had to clean puke off my boots when I got dressed this morning, and that's another story. Anyway, you might be wondering why I'm blazing up north through the middle of nowhere, Nevada, if I'm feeling so out of sorts. Well, like I said, it's because I got talked into doing this ill-advised country music duet with my friend Doug Barry, the singing cowboy. You might remember Doug from a video I made about a month ago. We went camping together at a hot spring and well, come to find out, he's a cowboy, he sings, he plays guitar, and apparently he writes music because he wrote a song that he really, really, really wanted me to come up and record with him. And I'll be honest, part of the reason I said yes was, well, I've always been very curious about the place where Doug lives. That's right, Doug lives in a town called Hawthorne, Nevada. And if you've ever driven from Reno to Las Vegas or from Las Vegas to Reno, well, then you've certainly passed through Hawthorne. And well, like me, you've probably wondered what kind of people live in Hawthorne. I mean, it's a pretty bizarre landscape out here. You might be able to see all those weird little lumps out in the desert over yonder and over yonder and over yonder. Matter of fact, this entire desert is covered with these mysterious lumps, which happen to be ammunition bunkers, I guess you would call them. I don't know, they're these weird little ammunition storage dugout cave thingies. There's some over there you might be able to see better. Weird little half underground storage buildings that are full of explosives. That's right, Hawthorne, Nevada happens to be home to, I think the world's largest munitions depot, or certainly the biggest ammunition depot in the United States. It's a huge US Army facility. Uh, gosh, I didn't realize anybody lived in town other than the folks who work at that munitions depot, but apparently it's a full service town. Dog bought a house out here. He really likes it here. And I can see why, honestly. I mean, it's a beautiful desert all around this area. Lots of ghost towns and hot springs and all kinds of fun stuff to go exploring. I've never spent any time really in town though. You know, whenever I go through Hawthorne, you know, I went through once and I made a video and I've stayed at the uh, casino here a time or two, uh, passing through on my way to Reno from Vegas, but I never actually went into a neighborhood and saw like what it would be like to actually live here. So even though I think this duet that we're gonna record is a terrible idea and oh my God, all I can say is get your earplugs ready. Well, I decided to come up here because I was curious. You know what I mean? Like I go to a lot of these small towns in the middle of nowhere and a lot of times I shoot videos and I wonder about what it would be like to live in one of these places. Well, this seems like a really cool opportunity to find out firsthand. You can see here, we're coming into the southern outskirts of Hawthorne. I think that's Mount Grant there on the right, still covered in snow, because we're not far from the Sierra. I mean, I know the snow, the sun's gonna be behind this, but back over yonder that way, just over that way is Mono Lake, not far away at all. It's all blanketed in snow right now. We're far enough east to where most of the snow has melted, but yeah, there's still plenty of snow up on Mount Grant there, and. Oh gosh, so this is where I would normally go if I was here by myself. I'd go stay at the El Capitan. But Doug insisted that I be his guest. He gave me his address and I'm right around the corner. I mean, to be honest, it's not a very big town, so I guess everything's kind of right around the corner. 
Okay, here we are on the back streets of Hawthorne, Nevada. How about this? Imagine living here. This would be so interesting. Oh, there's his truck. I remember from our camping trip. He has that little Ford Ranger pickup truck. Oh, look how cute. His house is adorable. Oh, look, there he is. <laughs> ah! Oh, hey, Deb. Hey, look, it's a good old fashioned Western shootout. <laughs> Who's the fastest draw? Wow, what a nice shooting setup you have there. Where'd you get that idea? From you. How about that? <laughs> okay, Doug. Welcome, Wander uh, to my music bunker located in the Nevada desert. That's right. Doug's, if you ever watch his channel, which I'll put a link to his channel up here, he's always talking about how he records his music live from his music bunker in the Nevada desert. So we are going to go in to his music bunker. This is where we're going to record this duet, right, Doug? That's right. Doug, how do you feel about this duet? I think it's going to go great. I think you're a really good singer and you should be more confident. You're really good at it. Okay, so well, I can spot him. hopefully yep. your music bunker is magic. Okay, we'll come on in. Oh, look how cool your music bunker. Wow, it's way bigger than it looks on the TV. There's your pedal steel guitar. Look yeah, how cool that is. this is my double neck Tulaka, and I've got my MSA from Dallas, Wait, Texas. Wait, why, why is there a queen of spades on the uh, Because uh, last summer, uh, I wanted your autograph, and you you put your autograph on the queen of spades uh, the, uh, on my, this is my set list. Here when I do see all the songs I do. Oh dear. Because when I used to play in honky tonks, there'd be mean people that would rip up my songs and stuff. So I got smart and I put them on these cards and I just oh, put them like that. Oh, that's very clever. But that's where I got my first signature, first autograph. See, Wonder Hussy. Wow, cool. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, it's very cozy in here. This is a. I mean, when I was picturing a bunker, I was picturing like something like those munitions bunkers out there. This is yeah. much cozier. Well, the interesting thing about this little house here is that. Uh, this is a war house from Second World War, and the a house lot was of, built in Second World War. Uh, 1944, 43, I think. Okay. And so a lot of the rafters up in the roof are dunnage. Dunnage is wood that they put uh, for putting bombs, like on a flatbed rail car dunnage. or truck. It's called dunnage. So the ha this house is built out of uh, bomb crates. This is the amplifier we'll be using. Yeah. Uh, I've got uh, two amps here. We're going to run the guitar. Oh, um, this is a steel guitar amp. Uh, it's 200 watts. Oh, look at that. Nashville 400. Yeah, and then we're going to do our voice. We've got two channels coming out of this oh, Fender A200, oh, which is an acoustic amplifier. What guitar are you going to be playing? I'm going to be using, well, this is a team over here. Oh. These two, this is, this is Tangelo. So it's kind of orange. Tangelo. Tangelo. Oh, and she, out, yeah, so she's from see. Dallas, Texas, and this is her significant. Your steel guitar is a female. Yes, this one's a female, Tangela. and this is a female too. That's the Dakota Darling. Oh, and Dakota, this is the male. That's the Dakota Darling. This is the Dakota Darling from okay. South Dakota. Oh look, <laughs> wonder how <laughs> Anyway, but these are team because I sometimes I'll actually. I'll sing and I'll play rhythm guitar at the same time and play pedal steel all at the same time. You can play that all at the same time? It d just takes a little practice. This guitar here is a Gretsch. This is D'Angelo. That's a beautiful guitar. Yeah, this is D'Angelo. And those. D'Angelo and Tangelo. They, see, they, they match. The yeah, pearl, they pearl. do. And, uh, wow. This is Tangelo and this is D'Angelo. Okay. They're the Italian guitars from Texas. Oh, Tangelo it's like a spaghetti western. <laughs> wow, that is a super sexy guitar and i love the strap looking for love in too many faces looking for love in all the, the wrong, wrong place yeah. johnny lee yeah. there's johnny lee right there johnny lee got his autograph how about that well you would never know this house was built out of dunnage is that what you called it yeah dunnage from wow the, it's, the it's pretty edition. nice so we're definitely tooled up we got enough we got enough good quality uh amplifiers and everything that the i was, I was, was originally going to run it uh with this acoustic guitar. Doug, have you ever heard the expression, it's not the tools, it's the trades person? I have. I okay, have. well, I, I don't think so all the amplifiers in the world are going to make <laughs> it for the fact that this is going to be... Mm, it is going to be an adventure. Earplug I guarantee city. you, Wonder House, it's going to be an adventure. We're going to have some fun. All it's right, I brought some lights from home so that we're uh, well lit when yeah. we do this recording. But <laughs> speaking of being lit, <laughs> I need to go get a ranch water out of my car because, oh my God. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna get through this sober. <laughs> Doug's not much of a drinker, so I thought I better 
well, <laughs> better bring my own supplies. Oh. I don't know, this might not be very country music. I suppose I should have brought Jack Daniels, but that just seemed a bit much. Okay, oh, okay. look at one. Look, see. Doug puts the lyrics up on this board so I, I won't get confused. You ready? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, George Jones and Tammy Wynette. Wonder Hussey and Doug Berry lost again. Okay, let's try this with acoustic. Hey, I think that's better. Watching the playback, huh? How is yeah. it? Uh, it's, it's improvement. I'm glad we switched to the acoustic. Yeah, that acoustic guitar sounds way better. Can you reach it? Yeah. I mean, the less it gets of me, the better. <laughs> Take 45. Rolling. Hey! take okay we're gonna take a little break yeah. i'm gonna go powder my nose these hot studio lights Yee! ooh, they really make a gal shine unless that's the <laughs> ranch water i don't know <laughs> it could be the one Ugh. better <laughs> holy cow <laughs> doug said he's gonna add a pedal steel part into the song and yeah, i think i think it's a great idea what's this this is how the song was built is this what? Good time? Yeah, oh the nashville good. number system yeah. i've heard of that okay this is we're gonna yeah. do a, we're gonna do a little little music theory. A whole interval is two half notes, and a half note, of course, is one half note, right? Oh, I thought that was W for wonder and H for hussy. There you go, look at that. Wonder, wonder, hussy, wonder, 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 hussy. See, that's how that, that's There's how There's your song. Yeah, wonder, wonder, hussy, wonder, 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 hussy. Okay, that's a major diatonic scale, okay? And then the two chord is usually always a minor. The one, the four, and the five chord. Music is also math. Add an A becomes a G9. We have a G major, an A minor, and G major has one sharp, two sharps. That means D. If we change keys, it's not a problem. You have an intro, which is four to eight measures. That's the groove factor right there. So anyway, ah, that so that's look kind too of- That doesn't basic. That's complicated, <laughs> So anyway- That is so complicated anyway, that's a, that's AF. That's how the musicians think. But I'm gonna switch over to steel guitar and show you a couple of things. That's yeah, we would quick. love to see some pedal steel guitar. Let me put my picks on. I got them color coded because they're different sizes. Wow, look at those picks. Woo! Like my nails. But anyway, these steel guitars, uh, they have a lot of parts in there. There's like 2,000 parts or whatever, but oh that's why they're so expensive because of the labor putting these together. Boy, I'll but, say, I mean, this thing is complicated. Knee levers too. Oh my gosh, so you got foot pedals, knee levers, and two frets. And this one here goes from a C all the way down to an A. Oh. Wow, listen to that. That's Barry White right there. this into our song um i'm not going to add this into the song i think with oh, the acoustic not. guitar i don't think it's necessary oh okay yeah. well <laughs> let us know in the comments take 475 oh. <laughs> let's try one more time okay. Hey. hey okay wow we did about 47 <laughs> takes. Uh, Doug's hands are getting tired. Woo! So we decided to go get some food. It's dinner time. We're gonna go down the street to the El Capitan Casino and get some dinner. And then we'll come back here and try one more take, right? That's right. Will your, will your fingers be rested up? I hope you? they're rested up. We're finally getting comfortable. Wonder, Wonder Hussey is finally getting comfortable in this song. And then, wouldn't you know, my hands gave out. Just the entire. Go, <laughs> dang it. <laughs> Almost there. El Capitan. Good service over here. Oh, yeah, I've been here many a time. I've stayed yeah. here, eaten here, hung out here. It's a good place. Casino. Thank you. Oh, love it. Oh, there's a restaurant. That's where we're going, right? What are you, you going to get, Doug? I think I'm going to get something healthy because I'm feeling kind of bloated today. I think I'm going to get some fish. You're feeling bloated, <laughs> huh? Okay, yeah. I mean, I would love nothing more than... Oh, my God. Chicken fried steak, meatloaf, chili cheeseburger. Oh, I better not. I'm feeling bloated enough as it is. I better go with the salmon. Man, all that singing sure does work up an appetite. <laughs> right, Doug? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, That's look, good. Look at this salmon. Mm. Juicy, fresh cut salmon. Yum. Blah. Oh my god, I ate everything on that plate and I'm stuffed. That was delicious. <laughs>
Yeah, yeah man, I sure did. All right, we gotta go back to the uh, music bunker and do one more take, right? Are your, are your hands healed up? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Frisky fingers back in business. Okay, one more time. One more time, here we go. Lost, lost again in the Toyota Forerunner. Going to places where no one's ever been. Lost, lost again. I wonder if she'll make it to Vegas again. Lost, lost again. No wonder I see make it back home again. Didn't you get lost like last week in the desert? I, I thought, thought that I would take a shorter way to save the Valley Dew Ranch on that day. But now I'm already lost, lost again, baking in the hot desert sand. Lost, lost again in the Toyota Forerunner, going to places where no one's ever been. Lost, lost again. I wonder if she'll make it to Vegas again. Lost, lost again. No wonder if she make it back home again. I think it's a wonder of all the gas it costs. Because you're lost, lost again. California, Oregon, Utah, or Nevada. Could be on the way. Washington, Arizona, Idaho, Montana, it's hard to say. I thought that I could climb to the highest mountain top. My thirst for adventure could never stop. Driving down a dirt road or a two-lane highway, I could always say I did it my way. Driving down a dirt road or a two-lane highway, I could always say, I did it my way. Sir could always say, I did it my way. Hey! You know, yeah. what, you know what you lost, Sarah? Yeah. It's been a while since it's been a month since the last time we went camping. Nah, That's gonna, right. I thought you were gonna say I lost the tune. <laughs> no, no. You remember you loved me a hat? Oh! I got to bring your hat back. Oh go. yeah! <laughs> Golly, I sure did need this because I can't wear this cowboy hat all night. Yeah, that looks good on you. <laughs> Woo! Whew. Now that the duet was finally in the can, it was time to pass out and get some rest so that I could wake up the next morning and enjoy a little bit more of what Hawthorne has to offer. Ooh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Holy crack. Wow, you weren't kidding. It really did stuff. Yeah. Oh my dear, look at my car. W. H. Ah, wow. Good thing you have this wood burning stove, Doug. <laughs> the only thing keeping me from freezing. Okay. Doug's going to take me for a walk around Hawthorne. Beautiful, snowy Hawthorne. And we're going to get a peek at what it would be like to live here. So uh, where are we going first, Doug? We're going to the post office. Oh, we gotta go to the post office. Yeah. And what, what were you saying about the post office here? It's like real busy. Uh, it's pretty busy because in Hawthorne, Nevada, nobody in town has a mailbox on the residence. And so everybody has to go to the main post Oh, there's office. no m delivery. Mount Grant, 11,300 feet, covered in snow, right behind the post office. How's the mail, Doug? Did you get any bills? Uh, nothing in there today. No bills? No, no, oh, no. It's a good day. No. Yeah, good. Okay, here we are on Main Street. Not too much traffic crossing the street. This is a, uh, technically this is part of US 95, but I guess there's a truck bypass that goes that down that way. So folks don't have to go down the old Main Street anymore. You know how that is in these small towns. They start drying up when the freeway passes them by. How cool is this? Movie theater in a Quonset hut. And of course it's painted all patriotic. And look at this sign, oh my goodness. What does it say? Oh gosh, I can't even read what that says. Synodome, Synodome. Synodome, Synodome Theater. Oh look, this looks fun. Gold Pan Alley. 
Oh, it's like a little old uh, western town. I didn't even know that was there. That's cool. Oh, look. Sierra Station. Stop on in. Oh, it looks like it was an old bar. But I guess Douglas was saying it's not open anymore. Oh, yeah, look. Sierra Station is permanently closed. Aww. They're fixing it up, though. They're going to fix it up? Yeah, and this is that mural that he's going to have repainted to save that one. Oh, the, oh the wow, look how cool. That cool. Yeah, that is cool. Oh, my goodness. I love that. I've never noticed that before. I'm going to take a still photo of that okay across the street from sierra station we got a red white and blue building wow everything is so patriotic here you said there's a lot of veterans that live in hawthorne oh yeah of course yeah okay lots of veterans we yeah. stick together yep speaking of veterans here's the american legion uh you can see the sign says all patriots are welcome and here is a, here's a piece of ordinance there's ordinance everywhere you go in hawthorne america's patriotic home how about that? <laughs> this town is so interesting. Golly, look at this place. There's a fixer-upper. Oh my gosh, look at the, all these old collectible decanters. I love it. Bing Crosby, National Pro-Am. Oh, look, the Ponderosa Ranch. I used to go to that up at, by Lake Tahoe. Oh, these are cool. Oh my gosh. Mint 400. El Camino for sale? That's a beaut. Look at that. What do they want? 14.5. Oh, it's a 72 Ford Ranchero. It's not an El Camino, it's a Ranchero. Imagine all the chicks I could pick up driving that thing. Golly, look at this cute little car. Oh, it's a an American Rambler. It's adorable and it's just sitting here parked. Like, is that somebody's daily driver? Wow. Okay, here's the Hawthorne Ordnance Museum. <laughs> As you can see, there's all kind of bombs out there. I, I, Gee, Doug, are you happy to see me or what? <laughs> I think that's a rocket-assisted torpedo in ASRock. I'm not sure. It sure looks like one, though. Oh, so now you were in the Navy. Yeah, I was in the Navy, for five, and I was on that ship for five years. At the sea. USS Horn? Horn, H-O-R-N-E. There's some uh, missiles over here around the corner that are painted blue. We'll see them when we go around the corner. I bet my bottom dollar those came off my ship. Uh, there he is. Old Bommy. <laughs> The Ordnance Museum mascot. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember all this from my video. The Penetrator. <laughs> Bunker Buster. <laughs> Museum's closed? Yeah, just like the last time you were here. Well, that's okay. <laughs> we can still look through the window. One of these days it'll be open when I'm here. Wow, there's a lot of interesting stuff in there. Okay, but you're saying there's something from your ship up here. I'm pretty certain it's from our ship. Okay, let's go see. What did you do on the ship? What was your role in the Navy? Uh, I was an operations specialist. And I worked in the Combat Information Center. Combat Information Center, wow. This is what you're talking about? Yeah. This is the, this is... Okay, wow, that's the Ordnance Museum. Let's see what else we can see on this beautiful sunny winter's day in fabulous downtown Hawthorne, Nevada. Oh, dang, look at the price of gas, $4.69. I gotta gas up before I drive home. Ugh. Oh, look, the white claw truck. Where's the ranch water truck? That's the truck I want to see. Oh, here's another mural. Look at this one. The Mineral County Museum. Hawthorne is the capital of Mineral County, Nevada. And look at this mural showing, I guess it's like the history of Hawthorne. There's the mountain man on his horse, Native American guy on his horse. There's some settlers in their Conestoga wagon. There's a miner. There's a native woman and her baby. Oh, there's the Hawthorne quarterback trying to sneak a peek up the cheerleader skirt. Oh, that's supposed to be the, uh, they say there's like a Loch Ness monster in Walker Lake. And I think that's what that's supposed to be. And of course it's painted with patriotic stripes. Wow, how about that? Look at this cool bighorn sheep statue. Wow, look at the, I, I, he sure is. That's one way of putting it. Welcome to Nevada. Remember why you, I'm gonna guess it said, remember why you left California. Vote Republican. Ooh, another Quonset hut. Oh, guns, look at that. Golly, I wonder what that's for. I need that on my property. And then look here. <laughs> Currently we're coming up on a stable. That is so cool, this is just like the municipal stables. I guess a lot of people in town have horses and this is where they keep them. Look at this beauty. Golly, your fur is so soft, so thick, nice warm winter coat. I sure do wish I had fur like that. Uh, or wait a minute, some would say that I do. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have any food for you, but the sign says, uh, don't feed the horses anyway. But it doesn't say anything about don't kiss the horses. <laughs> Far out. It's like being in the Old West, only it's 
2023. Just goes to show, man, there's a lot more to these small towns than meets the eye when you blow past on the freeway. Hey, guess what happened? Apparently, the guy that lives across the street from Doug is a big fan of my YouTube channel, and he just brought me roses. Because today's Valentine's Day, believe it or not. And this guy is a character. What's your name, Terry? Yeah, Terry Ellis. Terry Ellis, and this is your truck? Yeah. Why do you have a tiger? <laughs> why, why do you have well, a tiger? Well, there's a story behind the tiger, too. Yeah, what, tell us. I lived here, belonged to a little girl, and was gonna throw it out. I said, don't do that, I'll put him on top of my truck. So they were gonna throw this big tiger out? Yeah. Oh my God, that's worth a lot of money. <laughs> And so you just put it on top of the truck whenever you drive around? In good weather, yeah. How do you how do you fix it up there? He's, he's there. He's heavy enough. He stays there. Oh, you just stay? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Maybe you can show me some of your secret hot, hot spring spots. I love hot springs. Oh, yeah. You never know. <laughs> it's a little chilly today, but you never yeah, know. I'll be it's back. It's just a brisk fall day. I'm from, from Maine. It's got to be 60 <laughs> below or worse before oh, I call it cold. Okay, if you're from Maine, then I guess you're... Born and raised outside of Belfast. Get out of it. Anybody here watching from Belfast, Maine? <laughs> Actually, what? I'm from a small town called Swanville, Maine. Swanville. I lived on a ranch out there, working ranch, 100 acres. And then what brought you here? Well, I slept with my family's in, my half sister. Yeah. Oh, okay. He's a Navy man, too. Oh, well, you're in the Navy, too. Yeah, I did communications. Well, wow. look, Terry, that was very kind of you to give me these flowers. Never, I appreciate it's it. It's not a problem. You yeah. want a native hat, too? A witch? What's the deal with your hat? It says Native Veteran. Are you Native American? Cherokee, half, over half on my mother's side. Oh, really? You're half Cherokee? Yeah. Oh, wow, yeah, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, half Scottish Irish. Braveheart is my great great grandpappy on her side. Braveheart from Scotland? Oh, wow, no kidding. Yeah, Sir, see, that's Sir William what, Wallace. I can't accept a native hat because I'm not native. You know, that wouldn't be right. But you, yeah. Yeah, you can, you I can, can give it to that. you. Well, you can, but I think it's better for a native person to wear it. Yeah, you know? I can show you a way around a lobster, too. My bet. Lobster. A, a witch? A lobster? <laughs> lobster. A lobster. <laughs> I'll get to Maine one of these days. <laughs> Not in the winter, though. So enjoy. Thank you. I will. That. You, I had to get you something. <laughs> I appreciate it, Terry. That, here, I'll give you a kiss on the cheek. Oh, you don't have to do that. Jeez, get out of here. Douglas says you're a longtime fan of my channel. So listen, that's the least I can do for you. I appreciate it, Terry. It's my, my privilege to meet you. Yeah. How about that? Look at all these nice folks that live in Hawthorne. Who would I know? <laughs> well, there's a few. There's only a few? Did I, did I just meet all the nice people in town? That was it? Probably. And, uh... <laughs> and wouldn't you know it, back at the house, Doug had also gotten me a Valentine's gift. A silver collectible coin from Bodie Ghost Town. But as soon as I opened it, I heard a weird sound. What is that siren? That's a bomb siren. It goes up at 12 o'clock noon every day of the week. This and siren goes off at noon? Seven days a and week. And what is it alerting people to? In case there's in case there's a problem with the ammunition deep, uh, depot or the dump and or So munitions. like what? If, if the town was going to blow up? Yeah, blow up or fire. Well, what are we supposed to do if it does? Is this like warning <laughs> us to like get in our cars and leave? I mean, yikes. I'm just going to drink some more coffee. <laughs> okay, well, unfortunately, it's already getting towards afternoon and I got to drive all the way back to sunny Death Valley from this winter wonderland. Well, everybody I met here was super friendly. So anytime I drive through Hawthorne from now on, I won't just be driving through. I'm gonna make sure and stop and see my friends. Doug, <laughs> thank you so much for your hospitality. Mm -hmm. Thank you for forcing me to sing that duet. How do you, how do you feel it came out? I think it's entertaining. I think people will appreciate it. And I think that, that uh, you don't realize that you have a very good singing voice and a good memory for all the lyrics and mm. very multi-talented. You already posted it on your YouTube channel. I did. I usually do that. He posted you know it me, the very I don't like to edit too much. Yeah, and uh, you, what, you got a favorable feedback? Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, we'll see when I release this video what people say. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Doug. <laughs>